Hello, welcome to Chandwell. This is just a very quick video. I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. I'm in the process of making the next three viaduct arches, which go next to the wide arch, which I did on my last video. I just wanted to show how I build the, the framework. So that's the, the boxes that contain the arches that slide under the track before I start adding the brick paper and the front and the back to them. I use a piece of software called Inkscape, and this is how I work. I start with a rectangle, which is 66 millimeters tall. This is the distance from the baseboard to the underneath of the plywood that contains the track. Next to it, which is an extra four millimeters tall, represents the distance from the baseboard to the track level itself. Well, one millimeter below the track level. That's because on top of that, I had a ledge and that ledge represents the top of the, the arch onto which the wall gets added. And it represents the level where the track is. I started with an original arch, the arch that I was using for the workshops under the garages, and I needed to make that 70 millimeters tall. Doing that is very easy. You can just use Inkscape's tools to get it to the correct height. So because I've got everything lined up, and because I get Inkscape snaps to the correct height, it's just a case of dragging it down and you make it the correct height. But I needed to make the bottom slightly wider than the top. That's because viaducts like this generally had a batter um, a, a viaduct near me, which was destroyed um, in the 1960s, had a batter of 1 in 40. Um, so what I did was I worked out that I needed to make these at the bottom 1.02 millimetres wider than they were at the top. So that was just a very simple case of drawing a, drawing a rectangle, which is 1.02 millimetres tall, and then dragging the points inside. Again, Inkscape works very well like this. Because it's got it snaps to the things, I can just drag it to the exact place and I know that it's exactly the right shape. From there I can do more. Um, so for example um, with this one I took off five millimeters at the bottom and then on this one I made the edges, I took one millimeter off both edges. This allows me to add the card when I'm building the outer edge of the box um, which is one, I use one millimeter thick card. I can then paste it on the outer edge of the viaduct front. This just gets it easier, makes it easier to slot in a centre support um, to, to glue the inner edge, the paper that represents the inside of the arch to. This one it's half a millimetre wider on both sides. This just allows me to get it to the correct width um, once, I play, once I paste the front on. So this one I use as a template for the front uh, once, the three arch, once the three arches were in place. And once you've done, once I've got that, I can use these um, arches in whichever combination I want. So when I when I wanted to build the front um, of the of the viaduct, it was simply a case of I can take one of the templates, duplicate it as I see fit, and there we are. So I could then just print that out. I'd probably give it um, more of a, a grey outline and no inset. Um, so I'd then use that to print out. Um, and that is what I then used for the front of the of the viaduct. So by keeping templates like this and keeping my thought process in the file as I go, it gives me the ability to come back and do more arches in future, should I so wish. Inkscape is capable of measuring um, a curve. So I know that the inner edge of that curve is 71.44 millimeters. And also I can then use this to then put a template together. This is the actual template I use when printing out the arches. This was two arches um, so that fit onto one piece of A4. So I had the front and the back of the box and the inner support, um, and then the inner and out, the, sorry, the, the outer parts of the box with a dotted line which shows me where to glue the inner support. And that is what I use. Inkscape is free, it's very accurate, I find it very easy to use. Um, and that is how I go about building all of my um, scratch builds, just by doing simple templates onto which gets pasted scale scenes, brick papers, um, the best quality uh, papers I've ever seen and ever used. Um, they print out fabulously, um, as you've seen in the in the build of Chandwell. So if you come back round about this time next week, hopefully the three arches will be in place. I'll have finished it and got a video up um, of the end result and a few shots of me making it and you should see how this template goes together to make the real thing.
If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. But in the meantime, stay safe, wash your hands, hope everyone's okay. Bye for now.